Hey guys, so I thought I would do an end of the year haul of DVDs and Blu-rays that I got for Christmas. I'm kind of moving these around a bit now, but that's okay. <laughs> You'll see them in a moment. Um, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's start with the DVDs here. Against the Dark. Uh, I believe this is a Zam uh, vampire film. Zam. <laughs> Um, starring Steven Seagal, I remember it not being very good, <laughs> but I'll give it a watch, see what I think of it, um, I'm not a big fan of Seagal, I don't mind him, but his recent movies haven't been very good, you know, I mean, his old stuff, like Out for Justice, Mark for Death, they're worth checking out, but his new stuff, eh, it's not my cup of tea. But if I don't like this, I'll get rid of it or sell it or whatever. I got Black Death, which I heard about from the Body Bags channel. And it seemed interesting to me. Uh, it involves the Black Plague, you know, Black Death, that's the title. It takes place in the 1300s, so it's historical horror, right? Or, you know, period piece, either way. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Okay, so then I got Eye in the Labyrinth. So I don't have very many COVID releases. I figured this one looked interesting. I saw it listed on Tubi before, but I figured out this house for the DVD. Uh, it's a Giallo, and from what I can tell, it involves this lady named Julie. She has an invest. She conducts an investigation. It leads her to the house of Greta. Alita Valley from Suspiria, and at the house, or the mystery that Julie unravels at the, from the artist's enclave, it, it demons and sinister, sinister secrets also uncovered. It stars Sybil Danning, uh, as well as Horse Frank, and Rosemary Dexter. <coughs> so, yeah, and I believe it also involves a bizarre dream. Julie witnesses a murder and bizarre dream. I'm sure I'll enjoy this one, you know? I want to hear people talk about my... I've, I've really heard people talk about, but whatever. Uh, House is Dying at Home. This one I've heard of before. Eddie Steeples in this... Eddie Steeples is in this movie. I, I know him from Would You Rather, as well as Richard Greco? Griso? I don't know how I'm saying his name right, but I recognize his name as well. Um, yeah. I'll enjoy this. Uh, we'll hear what it says on the back. When an unknown evil traps the Williams inside their new house, the family members must band together to fight an entity more evil and powerful than anyone would ever imagine. So, sounds like supernatural horror, you know, but hey. As long as it's good, I'm not complaining, right? <laughs> King of the Ants, a Stuart Gordon film. This might be more crime than horror, but either way, I've heard it was brutal. Uh, George Wenton is in it. I recently watched VFW. He's in that one. And Carrie Werher? Wer Wu? I don't know how to say that name. From Anaconda, Anaconda which I'm pretty sure I've seen that movie. I know it was at least the first one anyway. But yeah, this should be worth checking out, I think. Be, I don't know if it would be fun, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, the Tripper, which from my understanding involves a killer who wears a Ronald Reagan mask, and I guess he kills hippies or something. Yeah, this is directed by David Arquette. I don't know him. I, I know more as an actor than I do as a director, so I know how this will turn out, but hey, I'm thinking it'll be decent at least out you know, I'm going to watch it soon. This is on my watch list. Um, and I think I heard about this one from the, the video Tunfa book that I have. I, I'm pretty sure that's why I heard from it. Um, yeah, and it seems like it, it is a good cast. Balthazar Giddy, Lucas Haas. I believe he was in Lady in White, Thomas Jane, Jamie King, Jason Mewes, and Paul Rubens. So, 
Yeah. I got Undead. Australian zombie movie. I believe also Ausploitation. I remember enjoying this one. It's been a while since I've seen it, but, you know. Um, I figured, you know, I, I wanted to revisit it, see what I think of it, right? And I, I have a gas mask, like, like this is GP5. And remember, the, the horror movie Found also has a character who wears a GP5. So it does pop up in horror, you know, every now and then. Oh, um, yeah, Undead. Uh, zombie, did I ever mention this is a zombie movie? Uh, probably, but yeah. So this five survivors take shelter in an isolated farmhouse to battle their way through a plague of walking dead. Soon they uncover that it's more transforming than just, a, just an infection. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, there is, indeed. Wild Zero, Asian, you know, Japanese horror film that I've been wanting to watch for a, wanting to see for a while. Um, yeah, I believe there are zombies in this one, and the band Guitar Wolf is in this, and I, I do like their music, so, yeah, it'll be good to check this one, excuse me. And I also got the Solid Nightmare set, the films of Shinji Tsukamoto, right, now, this is out of print now, I believe, so hopefully Arrow re reissues it. And as the short films, The Adventures of Denshu Kozo, as well as Haze. Um, I don't know these, which discs those ones are on. But anyway, I'll get to the discs now. Tetsuo, The Iron Man, which I have the Tartan Asia Extreme release of. And I've only seen that one of, of this set. So I need to catch up on my Tsukamoto, right? <laughs> and Tetsuo 2 Body Hammer is on this one. I'm not sure to show the inside. I mean, they're all pretty much the same on the inside, right? I don't really need to. Then I got Tokyo Fist, which sounds fun, and Bullet Ballet, which also sounds pretty wild. They all look pretty much the same on the back. Uh, the Snake of June sounds interesting and vital. Which I believe also had a Tartan Asia Extreme release. Yeah, well, the artwork does differ. For, yeah, I'll show it for this one. Why not? Actually, this one is not red. That's interesting. Because these other two are. But, yeah, I just noticed that. It's like, oh, yeah, the color is different. But, you know, the back, other than that, the back is. My cover's pretty much, pretty similar for these. Kotoko, which I almost recently got the, Vi the uh, Titan, Titan Age Extreme release of, but I decided not to. And, as well as Killing, which is a samurai movie, from what I believe. Yeah. I'm not going to show the poster. I don't really feel like it, but there's a book in here, as Arrow typically includes their box sets. I'll show two of the photos. Uh, that's interesting. As well as this one. Yeah. Way quickly, but not. I'll rush it. Try to make sure I don't overrun the space on this card. <laughs> but I deleted the old the old video, so I should have plenty. Of, I have plenty of space now. I think. All right. Then I want to do. I want to talk about my vinegar syndrome releases. And this next pile, and that'll be it. This is the only 4K that I have. I may get a 4K player at some point. I don't know. But I, I bought this for the features. Uh, because I, I'd seen... I'd watched, you know, Die Club Santa Claus, a.k.a. Deadly Games, a.k.a. a bunch of other titles. 
off of Shutter about a year ago. I figured, yeah, I want to know more about the movie. And this does have an 88 minute long interview, which I don't know if it plays over the movie like Vinegar Syndrome has done in the past. But, you know, I'll probably check it out, you know. I get two, I did get two slips. Uh, figured, ah, they're inexpensive. And I had seen these movies and enjoyed them. You know, Don't Go in the Woods of Alone, kind of a cheesy, fun, you know, silly slasher film. But I figured, ah, I get the slip. One of their early releases, from what I understand. Right, yeah. What the, that's a classic cover, too, I think, right? <laughs> uh... Witch Trap. Well, sure, I remember being, uh, you know, a fun supernatural slasher. I wanted to check out a Johanna from the same director as Night of the Demons and Witchboard. And Pinocchio's Revenge, if you really want to go there, right? <laughs> that movie. Uh, yeah. And. I did get some of the Mexican horror stuff. I got some Terry Cemetery of Terror. Which is an interesting side out about this is that Hugo Stiglitz from Nightmare City is in this, as well as Rene Cardona the third. Um I know Rene Cardona and Cardona Jr. are both filmmakers, right? I've seen some of the Santo movies as well as uh, Carlos the Terrorist from Cardona the First. And or, yeah, that's right. Carlos Adair. And then Guayana, Crime of the Century from Carter Jr. And I'm hoping that Vincin, you know, what I'm getting to is that I'm hoping Vincin will talk, will release Vacations of Terror 1 and 2. Because, well, Rene Cardona III directed the first one from what I, I believe he did. But the point is Mexican horror, right? And the point is, these two, Cemetery of Terror and Grave Robbers, as well as Vacations of Terror 1 and 2, were released previously on a DVD set, which is out of print. Right? So it makes sense if Vincent or somebody else could put out Vacations of Terror 1 and 2. Right? It, uh, you know, I mean, I could see VCI doing it too, but Vincent would be my company of choice. Um, but yeah, here is Grave Robbers. I like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't... I, I do enjoy Mexican horror. I haven't seen that many. <laughs> but, you know, I, I find what I can, right? And check out what interests me, you know? Uh, the Elf of I don't know if El Vampiro has release. Or even it has one that's, you know, in English or has any Spanish and English subtitles. But anyway... Fade to black. Uh, yeah. It's a slasher film from what I believe. People used to laugh at Eric Benford. Now, with every performance, he knocks him dead. You know, same thing here. Eric Benford lives in the movies. Sometimes he kills for them, too. I think this will be fun. Right? A lot of features on this one, too. So, yeah. I believe there was an, another slip for this, but I opted for this one. You know, I like I like the simplicity of this. Uh, L.A. Wars looks like a cheesy fun action movie. I mean, look at that mullet, right? <laughs> um, if anyone cares, because this is a limited release from the archive collection, three thousand one hundred eighteen of four thousand. Yeah, this looks fun. Pretty wild. Did I show the back already? I don't know if I did. I'm not going to take it out all the way out of legs because it's a pain in the butt to put back in the case. Nightmare Sisters. I've known about this one for a while. Never bothered to pick it up. Um, right? Looks kind of kinky, right? Hot or not, right? You could either way, right? <laughs> what if you're in the mood for? Um, yeah, this has Linnea Quigley, Frank Stevens, Michelle Bauer, directed by David Dakota. Uh, yeah, looks fun. And I believe this is also one early release from Vincent. I don't know if it's trauma, but I think 
I think I do have a troll release in here. Yeah, from when I I looked when I looked earlier. Also from their archive collection, Spellcaster. Yeah, looks pretty fun. It's uh, it's an Empire Pictures release, right? And Trolls Band is involved in it. Adam Ant is in this movie too, apparently. So, yeah, it looks pretty wild, All right? Pretty silly. Um, yeah. I don't know if they're gonna put out more of Empire Pictures releases or MGM, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm sure this will be decent at least. I got Zombie Island Massacre. <laughs> um, I, I've heard about this one. I almost bought it during the halfway through Black Friday sale, but I figured out ah, I'll just wait and get it later. So I did. That's what I ended up doing. Uh, this is yeah. This is the trauma one of the of the pile here of the lot. I don't know any of the actors or the director of this one, but you know, I'm sure it'll be fun. Lastly. To complete my zombie collection on Blu-ray, Zombie Pop Killing Birds. That that is zombie film series, not zombie movies in general. Right? <laughs> in case you're wondering, what do you mean by that? Well, I just answered a question. Right. <laughs> yeah, um, this does involve zombies and birds, from what I can tell. Right. Uh, I'm just glad to have this because I was thinking, well, I hope somebody puts it out on Blu-ray. Right. Because I don't have the Shriek Show DVD. I don't have very many Shriek Show DVDs to begin with. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I look forward to... And I like this cover. This is awesome. But even this is pretty cool. Right? I mean, yeah, it's the same image, but... Man. It's like, what is this bird eating that's causing the blood to pour out of the guy's face? Right? I want to know. So maybe I'll find out by watching this, right? It'll be insightful. It'll be amazing. Well, I don't know. But hey, I'll have a good time with whatever I watch for the most part. So, whatever. Yeah, and that's it. Um, so thanks for watching this be up tonight. Or t by tomorrow, at least. And that's it. I don't know when I'm going to have another video or what I'm going to do for one, but you'll see me when you see me. And that's it. This is the third time I've taken to re third recording for this, so I think it turned out better. No issues. Yeah. Thanks for watching.